all right what's good y'all so i'm about to break down the sample on the screen seven sounds in it and it's like it's not a super complicated loop but it's like semi-complex has some cool techniques in it so yeah so let's get straight to it <laughs> So up here is the main melody or like the first pattern that I put down. So here's what it sounds like. The sound is from Contact and it's uh, this new bank by Software Audio, Trifecta. Pretty cool bank. Like what makes it unique is these three sections right here. So the keys in the middle are keys. The keys up here are lead. And the keys down here on the like lower octaves is bass sounds or like a bass preset. It comes with hella presets as you can see and each preset has three sounds in it, you know. So each three presets is supposed to go well together with, with each other. I went with this big dog preset. I only used the keys, I didn't use the bass or the lead. So this is without any effects. So it's pretty simple as you could hear it's pretty repetitive so i'm gonna just delete these sections right here and explain it so i start off like i said with the f minor chord duplicated it and tried to make a very like a variant of it in the second part right here so i deleted this note and the top note and then i just duplicated the root note right here one octave after that you know to add some rhythm i grabbed the c note right here out here so now we have this uh little rhythm right here after that, I just duplicated it, you know, pitch it down five semitones down here. So actually, I kept everything the same. I just took the C and brought it back to F. I was messing with it. I liked how it sounded, but it needed like some touch-ups, you know, I needed to fix it a little bit. So I went to Portal and I went to Loner's uh, Synth Diaries bank right here. And I went with the Endless preset right here. After that, I went to Delay Eternity by Arturia, default preset. Then finally, after that, I pitched down the sample three semitones with the pitch shifter. After those changes, it sounded like this. After that, I chopped it up in the playlist. I think I deleted this first section right here. As you can hear, it's like a little glitchy. So I removed that section and I chopped it up to this part right here. After I chopped it up into that, I loaded this one up in uh, Fruity Slicer. I kept everything the same, you know, but I turned up the attack a little bit to get rid of the clicking. I changed it to beat, you know, so the slices is, is at each beat, reversed some sections. And then after that, I went in here to the piano roll and I came up with this pattern right here. And now it sounds like this. I found it easier to add counter melodies to this melody than to just the initial MIDI, you know? So after I had this uh, little starter up here, I added this sound. And it's actually a guitar, a guitar phrase back from Contact. So it's this scoring guitars by Heaviosity. I just tuned it to the key of the sample and messed around with the different phrases right here. Messed around with them and I picked the, the, these right here, the D sharp to the G sharp. Before I bounced it out, I added this hyper chorus. I don't know, I think it's a stock preset. It said new right here, and I was what, what's this hyper chorus thing? And it's actually super fire. So now here's what it sounds like with the chorus. Just pitched up a whole octave and I reversed it. And now we have this little section right here. That's uh, the section I use. I just chopped it up right here into these little things right here. After that, I just added a dark piano, nothing crazy. You already know Contact, Noir, Pure, Dark Preset. And here's what the chords looks like, uh, root note, and then the fifth of the chord in different octaves up here. It sounds like this. In my head, I hear a new piano note hit hitting right here, but I wanted to fade out longer and bring in a random new sound where the next piano note should hit. Mm -hmm. 
I brought in this accent, you know, pitched it to the right key and time stretched it a little bit. So now the sample sounds like this. I chopped it up right here to make this part right here really shine. Now it sounds like this. Brought in this accent as well from the same kit. Cool little transitioning effect, you know, right here. Alright, cool. So now let's move on to the B part. Same main melody right here. I got rid of the reversed guitar accents. I kept the dark piano and then I made this pattern to it. It's from Analog Lab. Uh, it's the Spectre Analog Lab Bank by Mike Fuego. And I went with the bend preset, which is a like bell that pitches up or like bends. And I just made these chords right here. I just made a regular chord. I strummed it into third, like one third rhythms. And now it sounds like this. And I just placed it down here with the rest of the sounds. And I really liked how it was chopped here, so I didn't, even though if I don't have any transitioning notes right here, I just kept it like this for the second part. For the last section of the B part, I did chop up the accent right here and the transitioning accent right here. And then same thing again for the C part, I brought back the main melody, I got rid of the chops right here, so it's just the main melody throughout the whole section dark piano no accents anything i just wanted something super fast like i don't know, like narda wick ish type vibes i just wanted like a fat faster pattern i made this one right here it's like sort in the background but i like how it sounded so i'm gonna show you which preset it is but it's also analog lab it's also mike fuego's bank and i went with the chamber preset i just copy pasted the original midi in here and here's what it sounds like it's super high pitched, I pitched it up to like the 7th and the 6th octave. But I routed it to mixer channel 1, which is the same mixer that uh, like the first pattern was as well. It had the same portal and the same delay eternity as the first melody, and now it sounds like this. I just reversed it and I time stretched it so it goes twice as fast as you can see right here. That's all I really did to it, and now it sounds like this. And yeah, after that, you know, I just added the stems at the end, turned up the level of this uh, on mixer channel 20. Oh yeah, and I also added a J37 stereo, and now here's the final product. Appreciate y'all for watching, man. And uh, that's pretty much it for the video. And if you enjoyed it, leave a like and comment. I would appreciate that. And yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.